good afternoon from Bucharest. Jas and I have just arrived today for a very, very short weekend away. Uh, we're here to celebrate our anniversary that was last month, but I mean, who's traveling anywhere in August unless they really have to, right? Uh, we booked this trip so long ago that it just crept up on us really quickly and our flight today was very delayed. So it is literally 5 p.m. We've just checked into our hotel, freshened up, and showered up and all the rest of it and we're actually heading straight out for dinner we've only really got today because tomorrow we're at a spa all day and then we basically go home so i think we're gonna go somewhere for dinner in the jewish neighborhood and then we're gonna walk to the old town and try and just see as much as possible um <clears throat> experience the vibe but we're not doing like we don't have a long checklist of things that we want to do but i do have a few things in my mind so i'll take you with me Ignore my voice, we both have the flu. We've been desperately trying to recover every day this week leading up to this trip, just hasn't been happening. And it is 33 degrees here, so this whole temperature change thing, it's freezing in London when we left this morning. It's just not the one. But for now, I think they've set up, ready for us, Jas. Look at all this moe. Like I said, yeah, it's 10 to five and we last ate at the airport at 7 a.m. So, kind of starving. So we find ourselves in the Jewish neighborhood. It's really funny because everyone keeps staring at us um, in a really strange way here, but we're just walking to a restaurant that I found, which I'm a little bit lost about. I feel like I have something on my face because everywhere we've been going so far, just on our way from the airport, people just keep staring at us. Oh, what's wrong with my camera? <clears throat> and the minute we left our hotel just now, like these two girls came running up to us kept trying to touch my arm begging for money and i was like oh, it's a bit scary and they literally like were trying to get into our taxi with us <laughs> um but first we need to find this restaurant because i feel like we might be in a bit of a sketchy area i think like, do you think just do we don't get some funny looks in there i'm gonna my camera away <laughs> oh here we are jess this is it it's called level up it's a vegan Okay, not a restaurant, it's a cafe. Okay, so they do have a seating area downstairs and it looks slightly less sketchy. Um, apparently, oh, the whole menu is vegan. So, where do you want to sit, Jess? Anywhere. Oh, do you want to sit there, in the little corner? It's cozy though, isn't it? Yeah, sofas. Let's do it. Okay, so I've just spotted some marle on the menu, which I didn't think I'd get to try because I think it's the traditional sort of meat dish. Um, I want to find out what that is though and I might order that. Okay, so we've just spoken to the lady. People here are so friendly, and I decided that I don't want like a burger and I don't want a pizza. I want like the traditional Romanian dishes. So Jas and I are sharing the samale, the vegan lamb, and whatever this is. I don't know, but these are like traditional Romanian dishes that they've veganized, and that is like literally a fiver. It's insane. So we thought we might as well just get three mains, you know? Okay, this looks a bit different to what I was expecting. This is the Samale, and that is, let me look at the menu, the Super Duper Veggie, Veg Michi. Interesting. That looks like something's wrapped around in cabbage. Yeah, so I think I've actually made this at home without really giving it a name, but it's like rice and spices, I think, wrapped in cabbage and then steamed. I, I've, mm. I've definitely made this once before. I don't know what these sauces are, though, um, and yeah. Anyway, let's give it a go. We've got one more dish coming. Oh, okay. Is that polenta? This? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, or you can mix it with sour cream, or you can use it just for the stuffed cabbage. Oh. Okay. You try one all the ways. Thank you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> You're having enough to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> so I've just been asking I how did to. Everything, right? Oh yes. You did. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I've just been asking how to eat this and she said however you want you can mix it all together you can eat it separately that's uh, polenta which I actually normally don't like but I didn't know that's the same as cornmeal who knows we've also got our roast lamb in inverted commas and um, that's barbecue sauce potato wedges and mustard I think it's mustard <gasps> mustard seeds yeah. yes Okay, this is like sour cream or cashew cream in this instance. Mmm. <clears throat> 
、スパンサーもいたところで歌手やってるうんうん、うん、ジェフリーナイスのファッションフレームプレンターはそれは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても良いです。それは実際にとても Four pieces of these little ones, and you've、mm. got four of these, and then you've got mustard. That's the lady, how do you eat it? She says, No rules, have it how you want. <laughs> so that's how I'm doing it.、Um, mustard.、Mm. I've got a、yeah. mouthful of lamb, it's very chewy. <laughs> Is it nice? It is nice, yeah. What's your favourite so far? Probably, actually, probably this, and then that, then that. I'm so full already. My favourite is the one. <laughs> <clears throat> that's good. I think that's so far. I haven't tried that I one. I think you like this one, like, no, not that one. I'm actually really full, I need to stop eating. Oh my god, this light is not flattering whatsoever. I feel like I'm having. I feel like I'm having the meat sweats. Is that a thing? I feel like I'm. Meat sweat? Don't people say that? Meat sweats. I've never heard of any. Where I just eat a whole load of like meat, <clears throat> or in my case, meat. That was so filling. It's actually pretty good, you know. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Like before the food even arrived, I said to Jas, I probably won't like it, so we might have to like, so we might have to grab something else a bit later on. But we are stuffed. It was all really, really good. Like I'm so, I don't know why. I'm just really surprised because this is not normally my vibe. Um, that was so funny. <laughs> so we left the Jewish neighbourhood, which is that way, and we're crossing over to the old town. It is,、oh, I think we need to go down here, but hold on. We've just spotted this bakery. It's not actually open, but one of the things on my list of things to try was a kovrig, which is a Romanian pretzel, but it's not sweet. It's very salty, but it's not open. And it's fine because we're so full. Damn, it was really hot inside the restaurant. And we thought it was just in there because no air conditioning, but no, it is so heated out. Here and we have a little bit of 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 a And it's 33 degrees. We need to go left, right? And just like that, we are now in the old town. Here we go. It's Definitely not very sketchy around here, and to be honest, I don't think the Jewish neighborhood was either. I think it was just the time that we were there because it was kind of like quarter to five, five o'clock, and it wasn't quite dinner time, there weren't any tourists around. And now it's just getting livelier because it's a Saturday night, isn't it? Popped into a very snooty art gallery called Art St. George's. I think it was an art gallery, I don't really、yeah. know, maybe a shop. But the woman basically followed us around <laughs> everywhere and just kept looking at us like, What are you trying to steal? And we were like, Nothing. Everything's attached to the walls. And I still believe it's art. I still believe it's massive. I still believe it's art. I still believe it's art. I still believe it's art. She said Buonasera. Maybe she thought we were Italian. Oh, really? Yeah, she's like Buonasera. And I was like, is that Romanian? I don't know. There's loads of art galleries here, actually. Anyway, this is a really weird place to vlog because I don't think anyone here knows what vlogging is. And I keep getting loads of weird looks. So, a lot of good advice. This is the place I was looking for. This is supposed to be the most beautiful bookstore in the whole of Europe. I know I've probably said this in Porto too, but this is meant to be nicer. So, let's go inside, shall we, Jess? This is just stunning inside. It's obviously a very different vibe to Livraria Leno in Porto. This is a lot more sort of clean lines, bright white open space, but I want to try and explore down there. We've been sat in this bookshop for quite a long time. It's not just a bookshop, it's really, really cool. They sell like literally everything from like High end like dinnerware, food, baby toys, obviously books, like loads of stuff. We're in the cafe, I have the world's worst Aperol spritz. I mean, obviously, I'm a total Aperol snob, but I just knew she was going to make it wrong, and I was watching her make it, and I 
felt like a bit of an idiot to be like, stop, stop, stop. She like poured half a bottle of sparkling water into it. It's meant to be soda water, it's meant to be a dash, not half a bottle. Bit of a nightmare. Um, I asked her to change it and she wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, whatever, I've just got a drink that's orange. Mm. And yeah, we're just gonna figure out what we do from here because we've been here for quite a long time, but it is so hot and it's like really humid. Um, inside here as well, they've got air conditioning on. I think it's just because I'm ill, so I feel like I'm sweating from the inside out. Um, it's like there's an oven on inside me. I'm so hot. So yeah, I just want something nice and cold to cool down with, and then we're gonna head outside and just walk around the old town for a little bit. We've been walking for so long to actually find an ice cream place and one that is open. So I'm very, very happy to see this. I'm thinking salted caramel. We're back at the hotel and Jas and I have just come to explore um, because there's a gym on the 11th floor, which not everyone is granted access to, I don't think. There's also a jacuzzi. A sauna, sorry, I'm a bit confused. Let's go and have a look around. Ooh. Oh, it's tiny. That's yeah. so nice, though. So you have to ask them 10 minutes before you want to use it and they'll turn it on for you, which is quite cool. And then, oh, female showers, male showers, I assume. What's this? Her ma'am? What's Turkish spa. Whoa. I think it's a Turkish spa. Steam room? Spa? Thing? I don't really know. I mean, personally, we're going to the spa first thing in the morning tomorrow, so I don't, I'm not really that fussed about using it. Are you? Yeah, not really. Um, it's quite nice though, up here. Tiny little gym. I'll show you. I'll just turn these lights off so we're leaving. We're going back down to our room, but um, I think I forgot to mention that we're staying at the Holiday Inn in Bucharest. It's not in the old town, but it's kind of in the city centre type area, I think. I don't know, but I will link it down below. It's not normally my hotel of choice because their pillows are very uncomfortable, I find. Normally, anyway. Um, but Jas is a platinum member or something and he has some points. So, yeah. But we did get upgraded, actually, to a suite. It's very big, it's very messy right now, so I might show you tomorrow because all I want to do is take my makeup off and go to bed. Good morning, everyone. This is a video, by the way. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, it's actually afternoon now. What has happened? <laughs> Sorry, um, today is our last full day our only full day in Bucharest and we're off to the spa we pre-booked this um I'll tell you more about it on the way but it's about lunchtime now we had breakfast in the hotel this morning and then I had my post breakfast snooze because I don't eat bread at home right and so when I'm at a buffet breakfast I want all the bread and bread makes me very sleepy <laughs> so I literally just got back to the room <laughs> fell asleep for like 45 minutes or something, right? Yes, it did. Um, anyway, we're off to the spa. Are you excited? Looking forward to it. It's meant to be really good. It's open till like midnight um, and we've got an all-day pass. So we thought, do you know what? We just need to relax today because I still feel like death. This is definitely the flu. It's not COVID did a test at home. Um, it's not a cold. I just feel like death. But um, it's nice and air-conditioned in here. I'm not prepared for the heat when we leave because it is 35 degrees today, so... Yes. Wish me luck. Right, let's go. Right, so we are off to a spa called Thermi Bucharesti, which is meant to be the largest spa in Europe. This is the whole reason for our trip. And um, it's actually really close to the airport, but this is the hotel we're staying in, the Holiday Inn, which you can't really see where I'm stood. And um, it's about a half an hour drive from here, which is a little bit of a shame because all the hotels near the airport and the spa were actually really expensive. Um, but yeah, so the spa is really affordable. We booked the most expensive like package, which means you have entrance into all three of the different areas that you can go into. And it was like 26 or 27 pound per person, which is insane. They've got three separate areas and loads of different pools, like a water 
park area, but I'll show you more when we get there. We are, have arrived at Fermi Bucharest Spa and it is huge, just the drive up here was insane. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we booked tickets to the Palm and Elysium just, so we're in here. It's huge. Okay, so we've just been given a wristband with no other information, but I just want to scan it here. So I am 3074, Jas is 3073, so we're actually next door to one another. I'm not going to film inside the changing rooms because that's probably a bit weird. Hello! Oh! Hello! Let's go and explore this place. Right. I'm in the changing rooms. I've just got changed into my swimwear. It is like a furnace in here. It's so warm. But this place is huge. I don't know if I'm allowed to take my camera inside because you kind of just walk straight through. They didn't give you any information, so it's a good job that I researched this place before we arrived. So you have to bring your own flip-flops and your own towel because otherwise, if you don't bring yours from home, then they make you pay for them here to hire them. They also give you a watch on entry, which gives you a code for your locker, which unlocks it and locks it. You also use that to pay for any food or drinks that you consume while you're here. And so as we leave, I assume they scan it and they give you your bill. And um, that's how it works. I'm going to go and explore. We're going to go and explore first. And then I will come back and try and film as much as I can. We've just had some margaritas in the jacuzzi outside. And it is so nice here. Now I'm lying on a hydro bed. I haven't paid for it, but it seems like it's already on. So whatever. The drinks here are really affordable, by the way. Um, cocktails are like, I think, three or four pounds. Top of my head, they're 30 lay, which is definitely under a fiver. They're all right, they're not like obviously amazing. <laughs> How do you feel, Jess? Oh, so relaxing. It's so hot though. <laughs> oh my god, so nice, but it's so warm. I'll give you a little glimpse of this bar. It's so weird, it's so <laughs> good though. So they have um, PC control. I have no idea what each of these controls do, but I'm just pressing loads of buttons. Oh, I can, oh, my shoulders, this feels really good. I don't want to get anyone in this, but this is what we've just used, um, and it was so nice. We just did 10 minutes, right, for 15 lei, which I can't work that out right now. So here we are. I think downstairs is the palm, which is like the main area of this bar, which is open to everyone. We've come upstairs to the Elysium, which you have to tap into and pay extra if you're not already part of that package, which I think we are. But we've just been sat outside there in the jacuzzi, which was so nice, and we had some cocktails. This is a pool bar, and it's really, really nice here. Just chilling in the Elysium bin, and there are, I think, four, maybe five different saunas. There's the Amazon, the Himalayan, loads of different ones. They're all different temperatures. One is like 90 degrees, which is insane. Shade from the palm. That's the pool we've just come from. See how long she lasts. <laughs> Apologies for the footage, it's a bit steamed, uh, the glass is steamed up, so there she look at her face, so I zoom in a what. <laughs> she didn't even last two seconds in that one. There we are. So that's where they're coming from. It's actually quite powerful when it lands on your uh, on your shoulder, your neck or your head. It's quite therapeutic after a while. Like all down me, and I'm so like slimy. You just about, you just about lasted 10 seconds in there. He was like, Will you last five seconds? He was like counting me down. <laughs> How long was I? 
Yeah, about yeah, ten seconds probably. Ten, oh, ten. You're the, okay, the, you're, not fine. you're the quickest person that came out of this one. So what it is, as you can see in there, but these are really powerful when they land on your neck or your shoulders. So this is the outdoor thermal spa area. Um, it's like loads of jacuzzis, loads of more beds. This is where we were earlier. The water is so lovely and warm. And you can go through like the rotating doors to go through to the inside. I think this is the palm area. And this is probably the restaurant we're about to head to for lunch. It's called Humboldt. So there's a Thai restaurant upstairs in the Elysium area, but that's not vegetarian friendly. Whereas this one I think might be, because the one in the Galaxy area that we haven't yet been to is Romanian cuisine. I think this is Italian, potentially. Or oh, it says international, I don't know. And there's, um... oh my god, there's like loads more over there as well. I don't know what that is, actually. But there's outdoor seating for this area here. Yeah, there's just loads happening. But you just go to like main courses, vegetarian. So you just tap to pay. And then we're done, basically. All felt a bit rushed. I'm not really sure what we ordered, but this is basically <laughs> it. And you just place your order and you go and collect your food. Honestly, this spa is just incredible. It's now like almost five o'clock and we have just come for lunch. Um, it's a little bit weird because we're in like what looks like a buffet restaurant except for it's not a buffet You order like on a screen like a gigantic iPad and it's like you can choose it like whether you order in English or Romanian which is great um, You basically pick your meal. It, I think it's a bit like McDonald's or KFC. They give you a receipt and then they just pour your order um, So I've gone for falafel with a side of chips. I'm actually quite hungry because we had breakfast at like 9am and now it's like 5 p.m. and we haven't eaten. We've just been drinking loads of water. Jas is just like this bar is really nice because it feels very luxurious. It is very, very busy. Like there's people everywhere, but it's not like crowded because it's such a massive place. Um, and everything is so affordable. I'm just going to work out how much the drinks cost because I don't know. Like we haven't got any currency. We literally just use our Revolut or our Monzo car, so I haven't quite figured this out yet. But let me just work it out and I come back. Okay, so it's not as cheap as I thought, but like this is like 10 lei, um, which is like £1.75. So it's not extortionate because I feel like at the spa in the UK, we spend about three quid, maybe four, and a little bottle of water. Um, so our lunch, we just got um, chicken quesadilla, I got falafel, we both got a side of fries, came to 100 lei, which is about just under £18. So it's fine isn't it? It's not like extortionate but it's not like really cheap either. Okay so I've gone for a falafel wrap with a side salad and of course a side of chips and Jas has kind of gone for the chips and Cajun chicken. Yes. Um, we didn't realise you have to pay for sauces and you've got to queue up and order them and all the rest of it so we're just going to have chips without the ketchup but it's fine because I really can't be asked. I'm actually very hungry now are you? Yeah. Mm. Just got the smallest scoop of ice cream from in here. They've got like a little coffee bar, but my only gripe with this place is they don't do any sort of dairy free milk, so I can't get a coffee. So I settled on ice cream instead, which is not necessarily a bad thing. the infrared light therapy beds we've spent 10 minutes laying down here we've literally spent all day here it's now just gone 8 p.m actually when we've got 8 15 
and look it's all lit up we've noticed like loads more people keep coming in in the evening maybe it's like a really cool night out or just a way to unwind from the weekend considering it's sunday night we also went into this pool there's a mineral pool there which is full of selenium and zinc and they've got a cocktail bar in there too and now i think we're going to grab a bit of dinner if we can here before heading back to the hotel so we're in the thai restaurant for dinner it's called mango tree i've got a vegetarian pad thai we ordered the buttered asparagus on the side and what have you got i've got the chicken pad thai chicken pad thai looks good did come out in about four minutes though so <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's just try it and see Hollywood sauna. is over it's almost 10 p.m have no makeup on we had a really nice dinner actually the thai restaurant in the elysium part of the spa is really good we have about six hours before we need to wake up and leave again for the airport which annoyingly is like the six minute drive from the spa our hotel is half an hour away so we're gonna get changed the restaurant gave us this robe we're gonna get changed um go to the hotel wash my hair, have a shower, go to bed for a couple of hours, wake up, leave again for the airport. So I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I have so much blog content planned. I feel like I haven't experienced Bucharest in like a traditional sense. I haven't done a lot of the touristy things apart from like a really fabulous spa day. I'm already planning my next trip and who I come back with. But I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.